After our overview on emotions, we now move on to another mental topic. Habits. To kick things off, I would like to start with a story about a procrastinator. Once upon a time, there was a man named Afif, who had a dream of writing a book. However, Afif had a problem. He was a chronic procrastinator. Every time he sat down to write, he found himself distracted by other tasks, such as checking email or scrolling through social media. One day, Afif stumbled upon a book called The Now Habit by Neil Fiore. Intrigued, he decided to give it a read. And as he read through the book, Afif realized that his procrastination was not a sign of laziness or lack of motivation, but rather a habit he could change. He started by reflecting on the reasons behind his procrastination, then realized that he was afraid of failing and that the idea of writing an entire book left him feeling overwhelmed. With the help of the book, Afif learned to reframe his mindset. Instead of focusing on the end result, he started to focus on the process of writing. He set specific goals for himself each day, such as writing for 30 minutes at a time, or celebrating each small accomplishment along the way. Afif also learned to control his negative self-talk. By reframing his thoughts, instead of telling himself that he was a procrastinator, he reminded himself that he is someone that sometimes procrastinated but was actively taking steps to change that habit. Another strategy that Afif learned from the Now Habit book was to schedule enjoyable activities first and then fill in the work tasks around those activities. He started to prioritize self-care activities such as going for a walk or reading a book and found that he had more energy and motivation to tackle his writing. As he continued to apply the strategies from the Now Habit book, Afif noticed a significant improvement in his writing productivity. He was now able to write for longer periods of time without getting distracted and he felt more confident in his ability to achieve his writing goals. In the end, Afif was able to complete his book and felt proud of himself for overcoming his procrastination habits and producing the beautiful book he wanted to. In summary, the Now Habit book has six main ideas. One, procrastination is not a character flaw but rather a habit that can be changed with the right mindset and strategies. 2. The underlying causes of procrastination are often the fear of failure, fear of success, and feeling overwhelmed and stressed. 3. To overcome procrastination, it is important to focus on the process of getting things done rather than the end result and to develop a mindset of self-compassion and self-care. 4. One effective strategy for overcoming procrastination is to schedule enjoyable activities first and then fill in work tasks around them. 5. Another strategy is to break tasks into small manageable chunks and work on them for short periods of time, such as 30 minutes, with frequent breaks in between. 6. It is also important to reframe negative self-talk and adopt a more positive and empowering belief system about yourself.